everyone, Nessie here. Uh, okay, I am going to try and do a craft create with me. I've not done this before. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know the setup or anything, but I'm just going to go for it. So I have these lunch bags. We don't get these. Well, I don't know if we get them in England. We certainly don't get them in Bournemouth. I had to buy mine off of Amazon. They're um, the lunch bags. I think Americans use them. I bought mine on Amazon. Mine measure um, about nine and a half inches by just over five inches. And I want to have a go at making a mini album. I saw um, May May makes, I think she's called, do an album like this. And I wanted to do one. So I'm going to give it a go. So I have one two three four five six seven eight bags i'm gonna make do this with eight bags now i will i've done some prep work but i'll show you what i did um this is what she does in her tutorial what you do is she glues this flap down so just i'm just using a tacky glue you just glue that flap down like so, because you don't want to use that. She then folds this in along that line. Smooth all your lines down. They're quite cheap, these paper bags. And we then want this part of our bag to be six inches long. Now, mine isn't very big, so I won't need to take much off. It's just basically trimming the edge off. Go for six. It's just a slither, but that comes off. And I did that too six of the bags six of the bags so that is these six here is it yeah six of the bags and these are going to make up our pages so we make our pages by we take two bags and we are going to sandwich these two together this will be the center page now what you could do is sandwich them closed and have that just as a page or you can make it into a pocket and I love pockets so I'm making mine into a pocket so I'm just going to put some glue along the bottom I'm shaking like you wouldn't believe because I am so nervous about doing this And that will give me a pocket in my centre page. That's your centre page. Then for the next page, I'm going to um, glue this flap to this page. Again, you can glue it flat if you wanted to but I'm going to make mine into pockets. I'm probably going to make all of mine into pockets because I I do like pockets. As I'm sure many of you have noticed. Just sandwich those together. And line it up a bit better than that. not too worried about these meeting up because I'm going to actually cover all my bags 
so there we have a page pocket page center pocket page and then i'll add another one onto this side so i have a pocket here Now the reason she folds the smooth side down and has the um, bag side up of the pocket is because um, if you put this side down and have the smooth side up, when you put things in they will catch on these. And I'm going to cover it anyway so it's all good. And then I am going to put another one on, oops, so I've got page, uh, centre page there. I'm going to put another one on the back here. Again, another pocket. Sorry, I have to turn it around. Now that is actually using five of the bags. Now with the sixth bag, I'm going to do something for the front cover. I want my, she doesn't actually do this, but I want my front cover to be a bit thicker than this. It's a bit flimsy. So I'm going to actually put my sixth bag over this pocket like so like that so I'm going to attach it here as a pocket so it's a pocket this way and I know I said not to do it actually yep I will let's fold that one back over that way so I'm going to glue that one on there like so. So I have a pocket here and a pocket here. You don't have to do it as a pocket. Like I say, you can just um, glue it down flat so you just have a page. And then because this is going to be my front cover, I'm going to glue all of that down flat. So you're getting like a double bag pocket for this, just as kind of like a reinforcement, really. So uh, now I'll do it on this side because it's a bit short. I've not done one of these before so this is all very trial and error for me here I've what like I say watched a tutorial on it but this is my first time making one of these I actually bought the bags to do a vertical paper bag album I did it as a DT project and then I'm just gonna oh it's not sure Sandwich that down. Not lining up very well, is it? This is why I'm doing it as a wet glue. It 
doesn't really matter if it's not perfect because a it's a junk journal and b i am going to be covering all of this and i'm also going to seal this shut because this is my cover so as that's my front cover i don't really want that open so i'm just gonna seal this down and here and on here and the same on this side there and across there I will be covering that there you go so now we have a front cover which is a thicker cover has a pocket here we have a pocket here here we have a bag a full page a center pocket page a full page a bag a pocket here a full page a bag a pocket last page with a bag now i'm going to do the back cover back cover is a bit more complicated so with the back cover we take two bags so the first bag we are going to leave as it is and um, we're not going to trim them these ones but what we are do, what I did with this one is where I would have trimmed, which is six inches from here to there, I scored. It's only a little score, but I scored it down there and I folded it and burnished it. And as you can see, I'm not great at burnishing things. Didn't go well there. And then... This is going, this line here, I want to line up with there. So I'm going to glue it to there. Do you see how that line there will line up with this fold here? And this bit, we are going to tuck under there. So we have a longer bag. So... The first thing I'm going to do is I folded it so I know where the fold is, where the fold line is, which is fine because this is going to be a flap. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue this section here to this section here. So I'm going to run some. Glue. You could use tape for this. I think she actually uses tape, but I'm not a big fan of tapes. So I'm going to turn that over and I'm just going to line this folded edge up to this folded edge here you can see just line those up and smooth that down turn it over and then i'm going to seal this section down this i'm not going to be isn't going to be a pocket so i'm just going to And I'm also going to seal this side down as well. And 
seal that one down. And now this is going to work as the back cover. So this is my book, this is my front cover with all my pages, and then the back cover, we will fold that in like we did with the others. Fold that back in like we did with the others. No, nope, trying to think here now. How did I do it? How did she do it, should I say? It's that side. Yep, yeah, it's that side. So that side was folded in. We will attach that to there. Now, again, we could do that as a pocket, but I'm not going to do this one as a pocket this time. This time I'm going to do this as flat. So it's just a full page. And then that's my back page and then this we will fold over and use as a flap or as an enclosure but I'm not going to mark it or anything yet because obviously as I fill the album it will need more growth room for my flap but that is pretty much the basis so it will be an album like so it will have a flap open then we have the cover, which has a pocket here and a pocket here, as well as the bag. There is a full page there. We have a flap pocket here and a full page here. Then the bag opening. Then we will have a pocket here, a full page there. There's a bag opening. We have a pocket here, full page, bag, and then that will just be one full page that will go across there. Um, now also, you will have these openings at the sides, like this. You could glue those shut. And in all honesty, along the bottom ones, I will glue some of mine shut, but I have got thought that what I might do with some of them, I haven't decided yet, but what I might do with some of them is, not this, this is too big obviously, I'm just showing you as an example, I might put a piece of card or something, glue it inside that, can I do that on this one? No, this one's actually glued itself shut when I glued the pocket down <laughs> but you could insert a card there and then you could have some flip ups or flip downs if you did them in the bottom I don't know I'm not sure yet I'm going to think on that one but that is the basis of my paper bag album now I'm going to do mine in an autumn theme because this is going to be my DT project for Calico Collage using the kit Autumn Ride. So um, anyway, that was my first Craft With Me video. Hopefully it isn't too bad. And I'll do some more for uh, when I come to decorate it. Maybe I'll come and film that as well and show you how I decorate it. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.